Hello everyone! We are going to see here how to use these association features from SQLize, this OIM framework which gives us the possibility to make connections in the database and map the entities based in their structure. Many kinds of association can be mapped, but the one we are going to see here is this one, the one-to-one -one association. We are going to take entities from one table and make it connect to one instance of entity from another table. So let's take a look. Here is the scenario we are going to work with. Basically, we have two kinds of table. The table address, which we have information about the address, of course, the address itself, the district, city ID, postcode, and another kind of columns. And we have one main table, that's the table of customer. So we have here some customers, and for each customer, we have the information which address it's linked to. So when customer has one address, then it has this one-to-one -one association, okay? And this data set, Sakila, is one standard data set from MySQL. Most of times come together with the installation as a demo database. So now we are going to explore how we can use the Node.js programming language with SQLize for mapping these both tables and the relationship between them and retrieve this data. Now it is one of the most important parts of this video. I have sure you was waiting for that. The code that really performs this mapping between one entity, in this case customer, the another entity, in this case address, and how they are connected. Look here, they are connected with the has one method from, from SQLize, and then it we will identify that the customer is related to one entry of the address entity, and the join point is the foreign key address ID. So this key is important to be properly mapped here. Okay, so once we have defined this has one method, automatically the SQLize creates this method get address to us. So it's a very positive point from this framework because this method is created. And when we call this get address, it automatically perform one join operation and return the address that's related to this customer that has this specific address ID here. And then here, then we are going to print both customer data and then the address related to this customer data. You can then just run that code, okay, here. So here we have the customer with the ID one, okay? And then later on, it's going to print the address it is related to, okay? So don't worry to copy this code. We have below the link to download that from GitHub, right? So thank you for watching.